Hey, what's up, Street Blogs? There, Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Tog. So, more assignments from Photo Journal, printed by Haptic Press, available in the Haptic Store. Include a link in the description below. So, one assignment I want to talk about is you are not your photos. Pretty much the concept is often people will say, I don't like your photos, but we miss take that as someone saying, I don't like you. <laughs> the truth is somebody cannot like your pictures, but still like you as a human being. Therefore, one of the tips I have is if you actually want to become a better photographer and grow, rather than asking people, what do you think about my pictures? Say, what do you think about the pictures? And the reason why this is effective is that it disconnects your ego from your pictures, meaning someone could say, oh, I don't like this photo because X, Y, and Z. And rather than getting defensive, it's like, hey, you know, like I was in a crowded room and it was so busy. The light wasn't good. What do you expect me to do? Rather be like, okay, you know, thank you for your feedback. Um, I'm glad you gave me the outside perspective because psychologically we get so attached to our pictures and we think that our child, our pictures are our children. So like any parent knows, of course, your child is perfect and beautiful in every single way. And same thing with our pictures that we get so attached to them. And so practical ways you could um, overcome this in some assignments is that like, for example, if you saw this picture online or on somebody else's social media stream, would you think your picture was good? Another tip is asking yourself, when you're judging your image, will this photo be relevant 10, 25, 50, or even 200 years from now? So practical tip is, if you know what a good photograph is, is based on emotion, whether it's timeless. So anything generally does that has to do with humanity, emotion, soul, heartbreak, joy, excitement, and fear are pretty good. Another question to ask yourself whether to keep or ditch a picture is, are you willing to spend 500 bucks to print this picture and maybe frame it in a gallery? And... Yeah, trust me, everyone's victim to this. Even myself is, you know, Cindy will sometimes be like, oh, Eric, this picture is not so good because X, Y, Z, or get rid of this picture. But I'm like, oh, but, you know, don't you see these little details in the edges of the frame and stuff like that? And she's like, nope, you got to kill it. And so killing your babies is one of the most difficult thing you got to do to remember that, once again, you are not your pictures. Your photos are not your babies. They're just photos or pictures. And when in doubt, throw it out. And if you're not sure whether a photo is good or not, it's probably not a uh, good good photograph. So more inspiration from photo journal. My recommendation is, you know, pick up a copy and, you know, most of this information, honestly, you could find it on my blog for free, but I personally like it because you could just kind of put in your back pocket and always have a bunch of these uh, photo reflections, like asking yourself, why do you make pictures, tips on how to conquer your fears, tips on social media and asking yourself why you make pictures. All right. So check it. Haptic press will include a link down below. Peace out.